In the history of Japan, the oldest queen is Himiko of Yamataikoku. Everyone in Japan knows the name of Himiko, the queen of Yamataikoku. Surprisingly, however, there are no materials in Japan that indicate the existence of Himiko. Information about ancient Japan only appears in ancient Chinese history book, where we learn for the first time that there was a coalition government called Yamatai in Japan in the 3rd century, and that a queen named Himiko was indeed alive. What kind of woman was Himiko, how did she do politics, and how did she meet her end? While introducing many theories related to Himiko, we will approach the real image of Himiko. I'm going to talk about Himiko, Queen of Yamatai, but before you fall asleep, please subscribe to my channel. Himiko was a queen who ruled Yamataikoku, a country that existed in ancient Japan in the first half of the 3rd century. Yamataikoku is said to have existed in Japan in the late Yayoi period. The Yayoi period is about 600 years from around 300 BC to around 300 AD. It is about 2,000 years ago from the present age. At that time, Japan did not yet have written characters, so there is no Japanese literature that can provide definitive proof. At that time, Japan was a country called Wa Star. There were several countries in Wa, and Yamatai is one of the countries that are said to have existed in Wa. Even though it was called a country, it was more like a city-state with villages and towns large and small. Yamatai was one of the most powerful countries in Wa, and ruled over 30 countries. Initially, Yamatai was ruled by a male king, but turmoil broke out. The turmoil continued for 70, 80 years, and each faction, exhausted from battle, made a woman their queen. This woman is the famous Himiko. Himiko's time period was from about 180 to 248 AD. Himiko conducted her government by divining natural disasters and wars. Himiko was not a dictatorial king, but became a queen with the support of many of her people because of their expectations of her mystical powers. It is believed that Himiko, a shaman, was chosen as queen because she was good at hearing the words of the gods. Queen Himiko lived in a palace guarded by soldiers, listening to divine revelations through the use of onimikai, and when she became queen, she was already too old to have a husband, and she had a younger brother who helped her rule the country. To add to her mystique as a queen, Himiko was rarely seen, and although she had 1,000 women in her service, only one man had access to her chamber. Himiko used this man to announce divine revelations to her people and to conduct her government. Himiko is said to have lived like this for about 50 years. At that time, there were about 30 countries under the jurisdiction of the Yamataikoku, and it must have been quite difficult to reconcile the interests of these countries, even though they were allies. Nevertheless, Himiko was able to unite the countries peacefully because she was able to provide answers that were acceptable to the people of each country while taking care of them. Based on this speculation, some believe that Himiko's onimikai was a way of taking into account the wishes of the people and conveying a plan that would allow everyone to compromise, as a sign from the gods. Himiko's consideration for her surroundings may have been the reason she was able to remain queen for so long. The place where she lived had a palace, a lofty tower, and a strict fence, and it was always guarded by a man. After Himiko died, a large tomb, about 150 meters in diameter, was built. However, no materials related to Himiko at that time have been found from Japan. This is because there was no writing system in Japan at that time. Himiko is mentioned in a document from a neighboring country, ancient China, called the Weiji Weijin Den. The mention of Himiko is very few amounting to a mere 2,000 characters in a single passage. 
There were three countries on the Chinese continent at that time, Wei, Wu, and Xu. The most powerful of these three was Wei, so Himiko sent an envoy to Wei. The neighboring states of China at that time could not compete with the giant nation of China, so Himiko sent tribute as a greeting, saying that her country was a vassal of China and would not defy it. Himiko, who became queen through the alliance of nations, sought to stabilize her position by having the great power of Wei as a shield behind her. Therefore, in return for an envoy from Himiko of Japan and tribute, the Emperor of Wei recognized her as the King of Oyasama, or King of Japan. It is also stated in the biography of Wei that Wei gave Himiko a gold seal and 100 bronze mirrors. Himiko sent messengers at effective times. Just before Himiko sent her envoy to Wei, the Wei destroyed the Gongsun clan on the Korean peninsula. The Yama Taikoku had friendly relations with the Gosun clan, but as soon as they learned of the defeat of the Gosun clan, they sent an envoy to the Wei dynasty. The Wei dynasty, which was wary of the movements of the Korean peninsula and Japan, welcomed Himiko's actions and gave her the title of king of the parent Wei dynasty. So where was the Yama Taikoku located? There is no conclusive evidence, and it is not clear where the Yama Taikoku was located. Candidate locations are scattered all over the country, and this issue, known as the Yama Taikoku controversy, continues to fascinate history buffs to this day. Based on what is written in Weishirwa Jin Den, discovered ruins, and the location of bronze mirrors, the Kinki and Kyushu theories are the leading theories as to the location of Yabataikoku. Let us look at the evidence for each. The Weishiwan biography describes the direction and distance to the evil kingdom. However, there are various ideas about where the starting point is today, the unit of distance, and the direction. If we try to follow the Weishirwa Jin Den on the map, we may reach Kyushu, Shikoku, or Kinki, depending on the interpretation, and it is not clear. The Yashinagari Aisiki site in Saga Prefecture, Kyushu, is the largest archaeological site in Japan and is representative of the Yayoi period. The palace rooms, castle fences, and Aryuguan, all of which are mentioned in the Weishirwa Jin Den, have all been discovered here. For this reason, there is a theory that the Yashinagari ruins may be the site of the Yamataikoku. In 1998, 33 bronze mirrors known as triangular rimmed Shinjiukyo, three cornered rimmed bronze mirrors, were discovered in the Kurazuka burial mound in Tenri City, Nara Prefecture. It is rare for such a large number of bronze mirrors to be unearthed and there is a theory that they may be part of the 100 bronze mirrors given to Himiko by the Emperor of Wei. In 2009, large-scale building ruins and a burial mound dating back to the 3rd century were discovered at the Makamuki ruins in Sakurai City, Nara Prefecture. The building ruins are one of the largest in the Himiko period, and there is a theory that this is the site of the Yamataikoku Kingdom. At present, based on the size of the Mayamukai site and the number of triangular rimmed animal and animal mirrors excavated, the Kinki theory seems to be the most likely location of the Yamataikoku, but none of these theories has been conclusively proven. In the future, it may be possible that a site with building ruins larger than the Mimamukai ruins will be discovered. Let us then look at what happened to the evil kingdom after Himiko's death. After Himiko's death, a male king ruled. However, there was another uprising. The uprising was settled by appointing a 13-year-old woman from Himiko's relatives as queen. This woman was named Io Star. Since it is written in the biography of Wei Shiwa Jin that Himiko did not have a husband, it is assumed that Io was not a daughter. There are two separate theories about what happened after the evil one. 
One theory is that it developed and became the Yamato Imperial Court. The pronunciation of Yamatai is similar to Yamato. If it was the Yamato Imperial Court, it would be more likely to be connected to the present-day emperors. The Yamato government was established in the late 3rd to 4th centuries, but its relationship to the Yamataikoku is unclear. The other theory is that it was a separate power and dynasty from the Yamato Imperial Court and disappeared. Just as the location of the Yamataikoku is unknown, there is no conclusive evidence of what happened afterwards, so the debate is divided. Finally, I will briefly introduce the Yashinokasari site, one of the ruins said to be the site of the Yamataikoku. Yashinagari Ruins, Yashinagari Aisiki, is an archaeological site located on the Yashinagari Hills, which straddle the Yashinagari Cho and Kanzakishur areas of Kanzaki Gun, Saga Prefecture. It is designated as a special historic site of Japan. It is known for its large moat encircling settlements of the Yayoi period, which cover approximately 117 hectares, and were discovered during excavations that began in 1986. Today, a part of the park is managed by the national government as the National Yashinagari Historical Park. The URL of the official website of Yashinagari Historical Park is pasted in the description field. Please visit it when you travel to Japan. I love hearing from our listeners. If you have any thoughts or comments on today's episode, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for listening to the end.